My name is David Zweig and I'm a Fulbright Scholar from Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, studying at University of Waikato for one year. Um, and I'm working with Louis Shipper on a uh, denitrification bed project in the Earth and Ocean Sciences. New Zealand, the US, any uh, country that has a lot of agriculture has a lot of runoff that's very high in nitrate. And when nitrates get into the surface water, they can cause a lot of problems by causing foreign algae blooms. And when the algae dies, it sinks to the bottom of the water body and depletes it of oxygen, uh, which then causes fish kills and really wrecks the habitat for all the native species. Um, so denitrification beds are a way to uh, remove some of this nitrate before it hits surface waters from uh, greenhouses, dairy effluent, um, maybe even industrial uses. Uh, the denitrification bed is a trench that's dug in the ground, lined with plastic and filled with wood chips. Uh, and then water is flooded into it. And the wood chips act as a carbon and energy source for bacteria that in turn uh, metabolize the nitrates in the water into harmless dinitrogen gas, which makes up 80% of the Earth's atmosphere. And then the water passes on through to its outlet point and it's, the nitrate concentration is heavily reduced. So in uh, 2003, Fonterra signed a non-binding pact um, with the Ministry for the Environment called the Clean Water Accord, uh, which aims to protect water bodies from the activities of dairy farming. So this range is not just from nitrates, but also a uh, source of destructive activity like tra cows getting the water bodies. Uh, but effluent contamination and nutrient contamination is a big part of that. Um, and so there's a lot of you know, natural resources in New Zealand that are currently threatened. Uh, about 50% of studied lakes are considered right now eutrophic, meaning they have uh, not enough oxygen and too high levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. It's a big uh, problem and there's a lot of different facets to the solution, but denitrification beds um, are certainly one of them and we're still exploring that. Denitrification beds interest you, I'll be manning the stand at University of Waikato's field day in mid-June and I'd be love to talk to you, chat with you about denitrification beds and the further potential for their use in New Zealand, US and the rest of the world. Thanks. Thank you.